And there's a very large parcel of land that was planted to Detroit about a year and a half ago that had been cleared and put into cow pasture, had been put into grass, as you can see behind us. And they planted many, I don't know, 100, 200 acres here over the hill. And the plantations didn't grow. So today we're here just to see what might have happened. This is an example of a plant that was put in the ground a year ago, and that's all the growth that they've had just up to that point. And what we know about Detrofa is that it's a woody plant that likes to have a, um, an association with beneficial fungi living around the roots called mycorrhiza, endomycorrhizae fungi. And so does grass. And so grass may have a different species, a different community of beneficial microbes that's dominating this whole field. And so the grass was, is also acting as a weed. Now here you see this soil, but we just pulled all the grass away from here. So this whole thing was choked with grass and plants and wasn't just nice soil like this. So this pasture is acting as a weed. And we know from literature studies in Nicaragua that Detrofa will just stop growing if it doesn't get weeded, if there's a lot of weed pressure. So let's take a look as we break this apart. I really like the soil to be in the tropics and find a nice dark soil like this. It's full of humus and we see the nice crumb structure. That crumb structure is from the nice organic matter being put out by the grass roots to keep that soil nice and crumbly loose like that. That's excellent soil structure. And our soil here is a clay, which is really excellent because that holds water in dry land farming and it holds a lot of plant nutrients. And it's a brown clay, not a red clay. You often see red clay in the tropics. So this is probably a more fertile clay than the red clays. And it seems to be well drained enough that even though it rains a hundred inches a year here, this soil will, water will move through this nice structure and it'll drain and so the Jotropha will probably have healthy roots and won't drown in this soil. This ground also is on the hillside. It's not on a bottom land, so I expect it to drain well. I think this soil is a real asset because I think it's probably quite fertile. So let's just keep tearing this apart and get to the Jotropha roots. And we'll break some Jotropha roots. Here's a worm, an earthworm that's excellent to see. There's living biology in the soil. That's good. There's two worms there. And we'll see if we can get this Jotropha root out without breaking it very much. And we'll just get to the heart. More worms. A lot of worms. Baby worms. Very good. A lot of worms. And what I'm seeing is that the roots are healthy. The, um, the stunted growth of these plants is not due to any sort of root rot or root disease problem. I think my impression is that it's entirely due to the, the weed pressure from the grass. And as we, you can see each of those little white bumps can be another root that can come out to make a larger root system. And as we scratch the bark, it's white and green and healthy under there. It's not brown or dead. It's very healthy. As we scratch the bark here, it's white and clean. So there's no root rot at all. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Let's see about this one here. Um, yeah, that's all right. So it's not a it's not a problem of roots. Uh, it's a problem. Here the trunk is green. There's a little dead spot there, but that's not typical of the whole trunk. The whole trunk is healthy. It's green there under the bark. Here's where the soil is right here. This tree is basically healthy. It's stunted, I think, for lack of nutrients and just uh, competition with the grass. Also, when we replant this, we will put a, 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 a beneficial microbe community we can buy as a commercial product that will colonize these roots and give them the benefit. We'll dominate the land. The Jotropha will dominate next time, not the grass. And we can do that with a commercial product. 
So I think this location is excellent. I love the soil. I know the plants can grow here. I think the entire problem was that there was just too much competition from grass and uh, the Detrofa just didn't want that at all.